Pumpkins Cooper. Good boy, Pumpkin. Sit, boy, sit. Good boy, Pumpkin. Sit, Firecracker. Sit. Welcome back, Mangler 3. I'm here. We're gonna go ahead and continue with uh, Honkai Star Rail. Not sure exactly how long this will be, but uh, a little while, maybe an hour or two. We'll see. Uh, sounds like game's already on. All right, we're just continuing where we were this morning. We had just beaten this guy. I'm gonna talk to him even though I am low in health because two of my characters died. Um, yeah, taking a chance. Finish collating the Stellaron data and record to one proceed outsiders. Let's have it. Questing database materials cache. Serial number 13175, encryption level heights. A request, a request approved transmission. This is the first of many years of research, Madam Guardian. The evidence is irrefutable. This so called stellar is the source of all the destruction. Why is the sound not working? People will struggle to accept this conclusion, Doctor. If we were to tell them that the Almighty Elisa Rand and activated this thing and triggered the eternal freeze. It's the truth, madam. The truth won't change with the opinions of the people. The reports before you are the precious result of painstaking effort on the part of Bellabog's greatest scholars. You must trust the weight of its conclusion. I've never doubted you, doctor. On the contrary, I am resolute in the face of this conclusion. From the moment I took up this mantle, that voice, their voice, has made its home in my mind. I cannot shake them. I shouldn't be telling you this. Let's return to your research, Doctor. I'm afraid I cannot make these reports known to the public. Unless... Unless what? Unless... Proceed, ma'am. Please proceed, ma'am. Unless you've found a way to completely destroy the Stellar Army. I understand. In the name of preservation, I will fulfill this mission. Cache number 13175. Transmission complete. Next transmission, cash number 24830. I don't understand, Doctor. Why do you, we have to hide such valuable research results away? They're the work of a lifetime. <clears throat> you, you're still a young child. There will come a day, a day, when you do understand. The Supreme Guardian, she, she sees further than you or I. All her decisions are for the security of Bellabot. I just think... It's a shame. Our research has hit an obstacle. Meanwhile, your results will be buried in the snow. <clears throat> Don't be upset, child. You still have lots of time ahead of you. When you find a way to destroy, <clears throat> destroy the Stellaron, our efforts will have been worth it. Cache number 24830, transmission complete. Next transmission, cache number 57614. This is, why is there a robot here? During his life, there was Dr. Mearsheimer, personal robot bodyguard. I heard it's a prototype from the Great War. Since the doctor and his assistants passed away, it's remained here. It hasn't moved an inch. Oh, I see. Let's start. We must unearth the doctor's research conclusions, all of them. Madam Guardian, I found them. All the documents are here. Hmm, good. That'll do. Madam Guardian, what should we do with the robot? Ah, it would seem a great waste to destroy it. Find someone to reset its system and then arrange for it to be sent to the underworld. I hear that the development group is in need of a robot with defense capabilities. Yes, madam. I'm sorry, doctor, but these results must be taken care of by the architects. One day, somebody will be able to carry out your behest. Cache number 57614, transmission complete, concluding data transmission. So the truth is clearer now, right? 
they were looking for a way to destroy the Stellaron. I didn't quite understand. Can someone go over it again? I guess it. The first one. And it would appear that they never succeeded. Now only one question remains. Why would Cocolia exhibit such a sudden change in her attitude towards us? Bronia? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just feel a little faint. It must be a lot for you to take in for now. Can you believe this? You can believe this now. Why? Why, Mother? Maybe she wasn't aware. Maybe she... I'm sorry. It's no use lying to yourself, Branya. It's time for you to make a decision. Mango 3M, can I have a word with you? I... I know that we'll need time to process this new information, but we have to decide of, on our next plan as soon as possible. Furnace core. The path to the surface is close at hand now. Thank you, Mango 3M. What you've done is brought new hope to the underworld. Now we have to wait and see. Maybe this will lead to a new lease on life. Your support came at the right moment. Thank you. When did doctors start carrying weapons around? First. Well, you should really be thinking Sampo. If it weren't for his intel, we wouldn't have made it in, in time. As Wildfire's leader, I couldn't simply look on while you've fought on our behalf. We had to come help. Huh? Huh? So you're the real chief? Well, what about Oleg? Oleg has always acted on my behalf. He helped me deal with his, with all manners of problems in the underworld. Thanks to him, I'm able to make time for the people. I do my best to make sure that they have everything they need. At the same time, I was formulating a plan to deal with Sparok. Your arrival unraveled that carefully crafted yet rudimentary plan, <laughs> and for that you have my utmost thanks. You're welcome, all in a day's work for a hero. We did it for us, it wasn't as selfless as you made it out. Any chance for a more tangible show of thanks? No, it's like a when the underworld recovers its freedom, the people will indeed extol you as heroes. However, even though Sparog is no longer sealing off the furnace core, there's no way that we undergrounders could go pouring onto the surface. That cold-blooded Supreme Guardian has used lies and tricks to keep the surface separated from the underground. If she detects any change in the underworld, I don't know what she might resort to. As for Wildfire, we need more time to build up our strength. With things as they are, you want to take a backseat? It will be difficult for us to defeat the Guardian alone. Of course, there's no doubt about that, so I'll be sending someone to I trust to go with you. Celie. Didn't she tell you? In private, she insisted on accompanying you. Don't let her carefree nature fool you. She's actually very discerning and can read a situation like no one else. Celie is a talented scout and a quick thinker. She takes decisive action. She'll definitely be able to help you, not to mention. You also have Bronya now. Will she stand with us? It seems like the intel we got from Zvarog caused her a significant shock. But with Celia at, your si at her side, by her side, I know she'll recover. Mango 3M, when's the last time you got some rest? I heard that you've been on your feet looking for Zvarog since Rivet Town. Health isn't everything. You won't be much use if you neglect yourself. Yours. I'm dead, by the way. <laughs> Let Wildfire take care of the furnace core for now. You head back and recuperate. If you're lucky, perhaps you can return to the overworld. Seriousness of breakfast. Hey, I got a four star core. And a shadow of destruction. Okay, this is erudition. Let's see who needs an erudition. And I can use my idol on. Yeah, I feel like the sound is all screwed up because I can't even hear it. What is going on with the sound? It's something in the game. I'll have to go to the settings in a second. Alright, so... Um, what was the new one I got? The breakfast one? Bre 
breakfast one. Here's my new one. Air edition. So we got a lot. One person with air edition. Unequip. I never equipped them for you. This is Serval, the one I got at the register. Here. Oh, we already upgraded here a while ago. Who knows? Everybody's got something to wear. Alright, what else? Got achievements. Lots of achievements. Contribute sound. No, it's got the sounds on. I hear clicks. Maybe there just was no sound. Always possible. away and then we get a probably a bonus if we get all ten of these. Let's look around real quick just in case we're missing a cool item. Left safe zone. What level are you guys? 34? No thanks. They stick with 34 there just in case you need a challenge. This heal right over here. It does. Hmm. Benefits to explore, huh? Okay, now I think we can go back. Gert Hotel. Equilibrium. The universe should be in equilibrium. Air seems to heat up suddenly. Sticky wind grips or onto your ankles. Leaving you feeling intuitively uncomfortable. Equilibrium. Mutters a low, motionless voice. Another whisper echoed as if in symphony. Who's talking? The arbiters of the Equilibrium are giving you a try. Hey, Equilibrium 1! the Equilibrium of all worlds, you must demonstrate your strength. Yeah, I'm looking for this. The strong will be given greater opportunities. The weak, a chance to breathe. 
Passing the trial will prove that your strength has shaken the scales of power. Worlds will change, and thus, equilibrium. Awesome. You will encounter stronger enemies, harder puzzles, and greater rewards. That's the goal. Greater rewards. After equilibrium. You will go on to face yet more trials. Please explain in human language. What is this the so-called dynamic difficulty? When I refuse a trial, get to the point where are the rewards. Alright, for the equilibrium. equilibrium. It is for this that all worlds change. As your level goes up, you need to complete trials of the Equilibrium to increase your level. Enemies will have stronger stats. Congrats on Equilibrium 1. Oh, does this automatically take me to it? I thought it was going to turn on the level or something. Does this just give it to me? Uh, welcome, uh, Death Amara. And thank you, I, I guess I got it. No, I... Does it say I'm Equilibrium 1 now? You to do... I can find out because if I hit ascend, yeah, it says requires equilibrium level one. You have to complete a trial. Uh, okay. Does it tell me where to go to do it? That's a question. Uh, requires trailblaze level twenty. Oh, it won't give it to me because I'm like nineteen point eight or something. So I just have to level get a tiny bit higher. It means I have to probably talk to somebody and then know. <laughs> but thank you. Now that we're done with that whole situation in the underworld, we can finally look for the Stellaron. <sighs> but thinking about it, I feel a bit bad about Clara. I'm guessing you know how to play. What level are you right now? Would go peacefully. I just, I'm a couple days into it, so as you can see, but I'm pushing. Svarog attacked first. Sorry I wasn't able to persuade Svarog. I forgot to be more diplomatic. I also hate it. You tried your best to persuade him. It's my fault for not preparing better for such a situation in advance. Uh, I didn't mean for you guys to start beating yourselves up over it. Look on the bright side. Things turned out alright, didn't they? Now everyone knows that the real problem here is the Stellaron, and they're willing to help us out. Equilibrium 5? Not all, ready for it at all. Not doing the trial for a while. <laughs> but we still have a lot wow, of Wow, that's awesome. Out. It's for fun. Instance. It's fun. It's, uh, it's a little bit more tongue-in-cheek joking around than Genshin. I don't know if you ever played a game called Genshin Impact. That's how actually uh, part of the reason I tried to do this game, because it's made by the same people. But I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely easier so far, because you don't have to do action and stuff like that. That's one of my problems with Genshin, it was like, the lag was like sometimes a second in between when you click. I love Genshin, oh okay, awesome, we're on the same page. Yeah, me too. I'm noticing allusions to Paimon and stuff like that, like I saw some easter eggs to it, and I'm sure if I look carefully I could probably see other things that are like, funny little tidbits that were memories of the other game and stuff. Where's the Stellarion? Why does Kokolia have it in for us? Who is Sampo character? Where's the Stellarion? Exactly. We don't even have the Stellarion's coordinates and location. Kokolia's sudden change in attitude is also very curious. We still haven't put all. All of right, the welcome. Together. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Actually, I'm having some dreams. dreams? Remember you mentioned something about strange dreams before. Telling him about the voices you heard in the dreams. Telling them. Hmm. All three dreams were the same. With Kokolia and that other voice. It would be weird to call it a coincidence. I'm wondering if these dreams aren't just random. If there is some meaning behind them. Maybe you're having them because... Because of the Stellaron inside him? That's my hunch, but I have no proof. Guess I don't have that. I thought I did. 
Oh, well, then that's as good as nothing for now. So, what should we do when we get back above ground? After all this talk, we're still back at square. Oh, you're one. very sweet. I don't stream though. I'm super shy. I understand that. I know a lot of people like that. Let's get some rest. Especially the camera thing. We'll talk it takes a long time for an introvert we'll to get in front of this. Also, the first stream, so if you if you see me at the very beginning, it's like tiny. I'm like in the corner, the about the as big as these numbers down here. To cracking this mystery. Like that's my my video. <laughs> see my face? I'm like. And now I just show the cats. Like if if I'm having struggles, I just show cat videos, and you can watch cats instead of me. Or if they or if the game crashes, like another eating crashes a lot, so. I just make the cat videos pop up while it's re rebooting or reloading. Or whatever. Ah, you're back. How'd it go? Are you tired? How did Oleg treat us? He was nice to us. My legs are so sore from running around for the whole day. He was nice. To us. Natural immunity. Haha, ha, that's true. Oh, although Oleg, oh, you, you can. Must be exhausted after running around the whole day. Take a rest in your room. I'll bring the food over when it's ready. You are very nice. Haha, you're welcome. We are all friends now that you're staying at the Gert Grand Hotel. I wonder if she sees the review. I did a review last stream of her hotel room and I give it all the lowest rating. She doesn't seem so upset. I almost forgot. How did you find the bed and the pillow? About the room temperature. The furnace is not working. If you need anything, let me know. I filled out a uh, service rating card. Just gonna be mad. Really, that's great. I didn't expect a busy people uh, to have the time. Thanks a lot, really. I'll take that then. Thanks loads, Mangletrium. Your opinion is highly regarded and your feedback will definitely help improve the quality of our service in this boutique hotel. Oh yeah, go ahead and have these. I won't take no for an answer. There are just a few small things I've been building up around here. I haven't been able to give them away. Hope to see you next time. Rays of high morals. I got lots of these things. Gotta figure out what to do with them. Oh, you haven't finished your work today? I have just made pot of mush mushroom sh sh soup. Take a break first and come try it later. I'd like to have rest. Can we talk? Can we talk? Sure, I'm not too busy right now. What dishes do you recommend? You usually have a lot of guests. Hotel under administration of wildfire. What can you tell me about it in the overall? Let's see, that's all. Probably gonna ramble. Yo, have you finished your work today? Oh, blah, blah. Can we have a rest? You're back. I've heard from wildfire that you helped resolve that whole situation with Svarog. Amazing. It must have been exhausting. Please have some food and get a good night's rest. I suppose it'd be good to get some sleep. Cheap room. Nothing in here. Hmm. Wave of tiredness over comes over you, reminding you that you haven't rested in a long time. Even the most terrible dream won't wake you up this time. Equilibrium 5. That must have taken a lot of hardcore play. Over there. See that? That used to be the worst street in Rivet Town. This game's only been out for yeah, like where I grew up. a month and a half, I think. Maybe it's my imagination. My friends and I used to wander those streets, thinking about where to find our next meal. That is, until Chief Oleg got me out and took me to the orphanage. There, I learned to read and write from Natasha. At the age of ten, I started to patrol the mines with Oleg. Occasionally getting into fights with the local thugs. Oh, that sounds nice. Nice? Are you being sarcastic with me? <laughs> oh, no, sorry. Oh, she's not thinking. Life in the underworld is difficult. I shouldn't be speaking about it so lightly. Feels but like it flew by. You're always so serious. But I did get in you right really at the beginning, I suppose. Sometimes, you know? I'm sure it's got a long way to go too, because it seems like these games just keep was. stretching and stretching and getting bigger and bigger. I kind of I've envy you, that, at least. For as long as I can remember, Never know. my could, days have been an endless could be cycle different, maybe not, of studying, but... etiquette lessons, and Have you training. gotten all the Eidolons? Like, is he already full constellations? 
Remember who main you character, are, baseball bat guy. This is against the architect's admonishments, Branya. Ladies shouldn't use such foul language, Branya. <laughs> Some may envy this kind of life, but I have felt trapped when every choice and every goal has already been made for you. <laughs> Probably can't imagine how that feels. No, I can't. But more importantly, what who's your favorite character in uh, Star Rail? Uh, in the name of the architects, I shall stick this spear into your nostril. <laughs> oh, that's it? <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Looks like I'll have to teach you some underworld slang before you go back. <laughs> no. No. I think I'm still missing mistake. one idol line, if I remember. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> It'll be better than poking people's nostrils, at least. <sighs> I never thought that I'd be here having a heart-to-heart -heart with the future Guardian. As a kid, I didn't meet many people who lived in the overworld. I think I can purchase I one. I could probably afford it now, too. And figured you were all so just I might, a I might have three snobs. before the end of the stream. I've heard from some Silvermane veterans that before the orders were made to seal off the underworld from the overworld, there was no difference between the two places. Everybody ate the same food, chatted about the same topic, celebrated the same festivals. Even though times are different I now, I won't be able to stream for a week, week or a week and a half or so. So I'll probably play offline, leveling up characters, life, the ties and doing daily stuff people. like that. These precious things must certainly still connect us all. There is a way to bridge the gap between the two worlds. We can definitely go back to the time when you and I were not divided. When we could stand side by side against the eternal Ooh, freeze chin and the fragmentum. Chin that. Chin <laughs> Kui. My favorite he's I'm Himeko or like Himenko. I, I think it's I Himeko, have the, have the fire. Grand plans for the future. I think that one's cool. But that one's my favorite. Although I like you want, Seely and Bronya, how they look. They like, and her character is kind of like Zilla. hardcore. Trust Hers is like princess, but she has cool earrings. So far. <laughs> Speaking of which, um, what are you going to do next? I haven't What's met her yet, revealed? but I have her. I drew her Sweet in one of the drawings. Chinque. Huh? Uh, Chinque. Yes. Ching Kuei. Kuei is not a Chinese way of saying it. Chin Che. As long as Chin. I am the Guardian's successor. I can't remember how to do Q U E in Mandarin. I know I, I know some basic Mandarin. I took a class in college. Hide it from me? And why does she want me to hunt down the outsiders who know about the nature of the Stellaron? It just... It doesn't make sense. I'll think of it. I, thought it I know I haven't met her, but... There's only one thing I can do. I say do. it all the time. Go ask her directly. You... Oh, Hold Chin Chui. On. You're not really going, are you? A alone? You can't. This plan is... I've already thought it through, Zila. I am Madame Kokolia's daughter. That will never change. And I think Either they don't, in Mandarin anyway, they don't pronounce the G, so it's not Ching, it's just Ching. Almost like the G's not even there. Even if... Of course, they probably translated it to English. Maybe that's why they chue. This is for you, Zila. Chin chue. Please help me Chin pass chue. it on to the outsiders. If if I am unable to see you again, they'll know what to do. Okay, I understand. You've made up your mind, and there's nothing I can say that will change it. But remember this: if you run into trouble. I will come to I'll probably just call her no Ching Ching. Then I'll be waiting money. for you. Ching Ching. <laughs> so, did you come to this spot when you were a child? Of course. Oh, I interesting. I always try to pronounce words nice and names correctly, or at least the best way. Very anyway. nice. That's good to know. Thanks. Yeah, no problem. I did one level of Mandarin, and it was equivalent to three semesters. They like really slammed us with a bunch of stuff. Taught us the uh, characters, yeah, the letters, the speaking, reading. I should go meet up with March and Dan Hung. And I already knew Spanish. So at the end of the class, I was accidentally blurting out Spanish sometimes. And they were laughing so hard. Most of the people in the class were also Spanish speakers. So 
Speaking two languages really helps with your third language. I'm also learning French, which is good timing. Oops, sorry. Oh, that's awesome. I'm learning Japanese right now and it's kicking my butt. Oh, I did a uh, judo. It's a uh, martial arts and I learned how to count to 10. Ichi, ni, sanchi, go, roho, sichi, hachi, kuju. And then I learned like different moves and stuff. And then uh, when I go to Disney, I always eat at the Japanese restaurant and say like arigato and stuff like that. And Japanese is definitely tricky. Um, I get it mixed up with Mandarin sometimes. But they're really nice and friendly, at least the Disney people are. <laughs> I've never been to Tokyo or Japan. Have you ever been to Japan? Took you long enough, sleepyhead. We've been waiting all day. I've noticed that our sleep routines and don't Sayonara's matter. goodbye. You either keep getting up in the middle of the night or snoozing away until the day's almost out. I always try to learn thank you. Because you, you can always say that like a restaurant. Work. Did you have a dream again last night? Not this time. I dreamed that Hook and Pom Pom got into a squabble. I can't remember. Uh, I can't remember. Oh, I have a phobia of flying on airplanes. It I'm like working on it so I can fly to Japan. Oh no! I work at an airport, so we work well, with airplanes all the time. My dad's a wildfire to discuss our next. Used to be in the Navy. He flew F-14 Tomcats. So, so he. I practically got a license, I fly all the time with him and stuff, so for me it's not scary, but I totally get it. I mean, the whole feeling of un not having control and all that. But you'd be surprised, once you actually get into the co-pilot and you get the handle for it, you feel what's going on when you get bumps. So now when I go on commercial flights, it's like the most smooth thing ever because I know what's happening. You know, I know what, oh, they just hit a cloud, oh, oh, they bumped in here and just disturbance and stuff like that. It's kind of like a way of thinking about it. All, um, Lance Arm I read a book by Lance Armstrong. He said uh, he used to be scared of lots of stuff, but now he realizes that when he gets in an airplane and it's a bumpy flight, all it is is a bumpy flight. There's nothing going to happen. There's nothing scary about it. All the parts of the airplane are, are built to be much stronger than what the wind could possibly do to the airplane so there's like nothing to fear uh, and like he I, I just remember that quote that was like a kind of an interesting one that was one of my favorite books actually oh, not about the bike by it. Lance Armstrong if you ever need a good motivation it's the book, of Sparag, the big hero of the other like world five cents on uh, and Amazon the other big heroes Dan Hung and March 7. Were those lines rehearsed? Where's Natasha? Is she here? She has a bunch of other things to attend to. So I hope you don't mind talking to this <clears throat> old man instead. I speak on behalf of Natasha. By the way, sorry for keeping that whole thing about her being the actual leader of Wildfire. I used to have a phobia of scuba diving, even though I'm a swimmer. <clears throat> Because I didn't know if it was dangerous with all that pressure and stuff. But then I learned about it and I realized it's no big deal. Um, it's deep. It depends on how deep you go. But uh, The advice I've read is to watch the airplane stewards during turbulence. They've done it a million times and they're so bored. Haha, <laughs> turbulence ain't nothing to them. That's one way of thinking about it. Yeah, they're not going to react because they know there's nothing beyond that. I think the... Uh, I think... Some people are like afraid it's going to get worse, you know, they're like, oh no, I can't control it. But, you know, there's, it's like understanding what the maximum is going to be. You know, it can't get any worse than this. You know what the extreme are. It helps. Yeah. I'm trying to think of ways to get better at it. If I think of something, I'll let you know. It doesn't matter anyway. Whatever happened to trust? I'm not seeing the apology here. Whatever. It doesn't matter either. I'm glad you don't mind. Natasha is always cautious, but she has no ill intent, as you surely have noticed. She told me to make sure you return to the overworld safely. 
I gave it some thought, and I think the safest way is to ask this fella for help. I brought you down. I can take you back up. Free of charge. Satisfaction guaranteed. There's no need to knock us out this time, right? Of course not. It's okay. Um, we'll I think back the, through the cause place. of instability is the cerebellum, and it's the practice of of balance and things like that. So like the more you swim, the more you go on a boat, the more you fly, the more you get used to it. And it kind of gets you like a balance feeling. It's like the uh, underlying thing. I took a class in neurology and noticed that that was like the underlying cause. It's just a practice thing of the networking of your the cerebellum, the back part of your brain, kind of getting practiced and used to dealing with uh, control basically. Um, I know I know a lot of people that are like not used to it and not practiced, but the more they get, the more they do it, the more their body kind of gets used to it and they get better at it. Like professional athletes are like the best because they're just super well developed. You know, like ice skaters, I used to be really bad at ice skating, but the more I practiced, like I took a bunch of classes and like just ice skating, and the more I got to do it, the easier it was. It was just your body just naturally develops that feeling, and you know. Of course, now we'll go back to the furnace. Or why do we need you? Just tell us the path you used before. <laughs> oh, like, give us some. That would be. He's a very scary cat. Dangerous. He's scared of Trust me. We should go through the furnace core. Ugh, enough chatter. Just be a good guide. Hold on. What about Branya? I always call her Branya. Why Bronya. isn't she here? Bronya. She already went back. As you know, she has some things to settle with the Supreme Guardian. Oh dear. What? She just ditched us and went back? How could you let her? She's not going to help us. She has her own plan. She left without Sampo. She has her own plan. I've noticed that. Exactly. She has a lot of responsibilities. I don't completely understand, but I trust that she's trying to solve the problem. She's gonna lead them right to us, and oh, now we're gonna have like, right. Supreme told me Guardians to down here. She guessing. left us a letter. Hmm. Could this be one of those open in case of emergency letters? I've never gotten one of those before. Should we wait until we run into something dangerous? dangerous. Stop overthinking and just open it. Dear peoples, by the time you read it, I went to the overworld to see my mother. I apologize for not telling you about the plan. I was afraid we would strongly object, which might sway my resolve. Madame Kokolia raised me up, and I will never be able to repay her kindness. You, She taught me countless life lessons and virtues, as well as how to defend Bellabog and its people. Even though she has lately made certain decisions that puzzled me, I can't let go of all her precious memories I have with her. I must communicate my point of view and thoughts to her honestly, and seek to arrive at a mutual understanding with her. This is my goal as a daughter, but also my duty as a silver main guard. But I'm afraid of the risks I might face on this journey, so I, if I fail to win my mother's approval or if something happens to me, please forward this letter to the Landau sibling and ask for their help. Serval and Jepard are honorary people with enormous power in Bellabog, and I have complete faith in them. I am sure they will unreservedly help you in your search for the Stellaron once they see my seal and handwriting. So, oh, I have Serval too, I think. Brother and sister Landau? I know the brother must refer to Jepard, but who could the sister be? Oh, Serval! So she's Jepard's older sister. This reminds me of Octopath, if you've ever played that, where weaknesses are super important. So you like have to use the characters that are good against the weakness. Like the last boss I just fought and really needed a wind here. Thank god I had Sampo leveled up. Jepard's Olicia, how very astute of you. I hope nothing happens to Branya. Maybe the sister refers to Jepard. Blonde, tall, good looking. Ah, those Landau genes sure are something else. Sampo. Do you know the Landau siblings? Landau? 
Uh, yeah, we're all friends. I've mostly dealt with a younger brother in the past, but the sister... Yes, that's a great point. I haven't played Octopath myself, but I watched uh, today's my boyfriend play it. What a fantastic so let's game. Not talk about it right now. Which one, Octopath? We I have the COTC. Just come uh, find me when you're ready. Champions of the Continent. It's a mobile game. I like the stories in it. They're pretty cool. I started playing because I saw one of my friends, uh, Tyler Salt, he was playing it on Twitch. And he was playing a different version, it was Octopath 2 or something like that. And I was like, oh, that looks like fun. So I found the free version on mobile and I played that. And I'm actually, I think, almost about to beat it in a short amount of time. I only played for like three months, I think. All right. Clearing calyxes or experiencing the simulated universe or the Forgotten Hall are all great ways to increase the Trailblaze level. Oh, I didn't know there was a mobile game. I should tell him. We have one and two. Okay. I think you... I was looking at one and I was like, I think you had to pay for it. Two, you definitely had to pay for it. That just came out. But there's a mobile one which is free. COTC. Champions of the Continent. Um, I think graphics are a little bit worse, obviously, but it's on mobile, so it's not like you need giant full screen or whatever. Alright, they're sending me a message. I'm going to grab this. Dr. Dig, he was the answer to one of the trivia questions that I did not answer. Or, I did not pick him. Dr. Dig, outsider, I finally got your contact. I've been, I have something to tell you. Boss Scott has been talking every day about how we need to try some business models. He's quite worked up about this. He, if you have the time, can you chat with him? I'm telling you, you can make a ton of money. Who the heck are you? No, I, I'll go see him now. Who's Scott? Never heard of him. Hey, don't be like that. Boss Scott is the most powerful man in the underworld. Loads of people will want to be his friend. Anyway, go talk to Boss Scott when you have time. I guarantee it's going to be a good deal for you. Don't, men don't forget to patronize the club when you make your fortune. Okay, so are they saying I have to level up before I can continue? Yeah, okay, so I can't continue any of these regular Trailblaze missions until I get higher level. So I might as well go look for something else. Let's try some of these. We'll just go little by little through these. Through these. Actually, let's do the daily one first. They usually have, in proportion, more better rewards. Can I fly to it? No. Hard work needs hard rest. Speak with Region at the God Hotel. This guy again? popular one. He's a rambler. Not, because it's a daily one, I'm not going to read it. I'm assuming they're going to tell me where to go. <laughs> read the thesis. Submit the thesis. I just said I'm on break. Fine, so what exactly do you want to know? I'm here to talk about the thesis paper. More questions. Your questions about him. I have a quiz. How many cars? I don't hope I don't have to answer this. Limestein's parking lot filled with 42 cars. Thief stole wheels from several cars. Several cars only have three wheels. While appraising damages, bent down and counted a total of 154 wheels across the lot. How many have been stolen? Well, if 42 times 4 is 168, then that means 14. 2. Wow, there's you are one smart cookie. I hear you have no formal education? Hmm? You're no slouch in that case. 
pretty impressive. I managed to assemble it so easily. That was it. Did I get the reward? I think I did. Yes, I did. See? Look at that. I get three rewards. One, two, three. Trial of Equilibrium Part 1! I did it! I got the 20! Ba ba da ba 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 da! Alright. I've been looking for this. I have to go to a place I've never been. There it is! Woohoo! Now, how do we get there? Let's see if we can go here. I'm guessing I have to fight them. A level 31. Recommended 29. Alright, should we take the healer or the shielder or both? I'm gonna just go with these four. These are my safest because she's got the healing. Then I can level them up, which is what I want. Pass a uh, trial and you have to do two parts. I mean, I have to beat two people. Victory means preparation. <clears throat> Bring it on. Oh, can't use the auto. Good. The stronger, the better. <laughs> you can still walk away. Aw, he's useless. Let's kill off these little side guys. Stand down. Let's make it quick. Who should I get? Should I restore? Should I... I'm gonna get one of these guys, are we? You're in bad shape. Yeah, take counter more than that. I think this is gonna be easy because I've already taken down some of them, unless they keep restoring. We're gonna just do no, we'll do balance. Okay. Try this on for size! Leave the rest to me. Oh no! My healer's frozen. <laughs> Just in time. Yeah. Just a little something. Just in time is right. <laughs> Think nothing of it. He was almost dead, and I had no other healer. He's still not doing very well. He should heal herself. Right Better up. Naughty children, don't let Here comes the medicine. You know nothing of the weight behind this. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. We're just having fun. <laughs> you what are you waiting for? Away. The customer is king! And for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my while. Here we go, almost broke it. <laughs> Let's go. So I'm gonna stand stay. down. <laughs> Time for a shot. All better now. Let's make it quick. <laughs> Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. Poor, poor bear. <laughs> Think nothing of it. All right. Uh, he's about to unfreeze himself. So I'm gonna go ahead and no, I want to save it for him to use the. 
Lady Postal. When you use a uh, special attack, it's like using two because you're not healing as well. Leave the rest to me. Hm. Now time. Let's go. Better up. Thousand cuts. One down, one to go. Now do I have to beat this other a one or is it a puzzle? Operation. Nothing hiding. Something over there. Okay, I have to beat that guy. Nothing hiding over here. Alright. Oh, he's following me. That's creepy. Victory means preparation. I think it's at level 32. Good. The okay. stronger the so better. So this is ice is better against this guy, but wind is also good against these. Let's start with that one. <laughs> what are you waiting for? The customer is king, and for me to portray the king, well, you gotta make it worth my so while. If I lose, I'm creating out. You can uh, still walk away. Yeah. Oh no, he actually is good for that, never mind. Single target or bounce. Let's use bounce and kill him all. Hold your body in line. Let's make it quick. You know nothing of the weight behind this path. Witness the stars shatter before you. And then we Survive just got one. destroyed. He was my there first fight no choice. Let's go. It's hard to travel. Naughty children, don't listen. Alright, you finish them off. Favor the bigger up. Bye bye. You pound Try this, this on for size. I won't go easy. Let's make it quick. Better up. They're like positioned backwards or whatever. <laughs> Much better. Amazing that five star pull. I'm very jealous. I want Welt. I got him because it was like automatic five star if you do your first fifty starter packs. Who is who are you, who's your best five star character? Calm your body and mind. Just in time. Just a little something. <laughs> Think nothing of it. I want welt. I can hit you when you get welt. <laughs> I'm gonna finish him off right he's gonna get break and then die. Nope. Because you can't break him unless you use the special attacks. You're in bad shape. Hmm. High temperature operation. Look out! Oh, mania. That probably means berserk. Yeah, his health is going down. Watch the face! Thanks. Uh -huh. Leave the rest to me. I won't go easy on you. There we go. This is our chance. We're breaking it. Better up! Who should we heal? Any, 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 let's heal you because you're the one mm, doing the damage. All better now? Timely treat. Sampo Koski always takes care of his. <laughs> Finish him off. Body and mind. You know nothing of the weight behind this power. Witness the stars shatter before you. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Man. It's like I can't kill this guy. I need to do something. I 
owe you one. What are you waiting for? The customer is king. And for me to portray I'd the king well, you can or Clara are my best. Watch. You can have Clara? She gets real spicy. We're just having fun. <laughs> just in time. Just a little bit. I think Clara something. looks like Clee. Clee's my favorite agent. I think nothing of it. So sometimes they call her Clara. You can still walk away. I won't go easy on you. Better up! <laughs> Time for a shot. All better now? Much better. He's dying. Big attack. Goodbye, Sampo. Sampo Koski always takes care of his friends. He's a good one. Your body and mind. Yes. First try. Flawless victory. No one died. The worlds are already changing. For equilibrium reigns supreme. Rest assured. The trial of the equilibrium will find you. Everything returns to normal. We did it! Alright, we can move up to four stars. And I got a bunch of junk. Okay. Do you think I should pull... Oh, I got a new, uh... Um, Calyx, I think. Calyx, again, slightly different than what I've seen before. Better not send another message to Mr. Yang. Then. Found another Calyx mutation. Mr. Yang, is this also a Calyx? Yes, remember, I... Mentioned that there are di many different kinds of calyxes, and the reality data stored in them may vary. You did it! I was cheering for you the whole time. Thank you. <laughs> Yay! I don't know if I have this, but I'm going to pretend I do. May or may not be real. Oh, I did have it. Woohoo! That's an old picture. <laughs> Remember to be thoroughly prepared before you make physical contact with them. It's not going to be worth it if you get yourself hurt out of average. The crimson one. Okay, so these are different. These are... are these better rewards? I wouldn't say. Unless these are just all upgraded and they're all... Hard to say. I don't know. I don't even know what the good items are yet. Ah! I'm under attack. Go away. Alright, let's try this before I just fall in here. Oh, difficulty level 2. Current team is too underpowered. You know what? I'm gonna call in one of my <clears throat> one of my friends and they're gonna totally waste you. Watch this. Support. Who needs Walt, right? We've got let's try Aina. This is like well on steroids right here. It actually looks pretty much the same, but it but uh I will not lose, I guarantee. Look at that, 4,363 health. That's my fire. This is Haley, by the way. She's a, she was on the stream. Survive or be destroyed. So. There is no other choice. She said, here, use, use my what? Watch this. Are made to be broken. Mildew. I think she gets rewards for this too. Dang, 73. I was going to offer you my Clara, but uh, I think you're good. Is Clara the one you share? I can try it. I'll try it after this one. I have plenty of energy. 
to betray my customers. I think you can with like the number or something like that. The UID. <laughs> Destroyed. Stand down. <clears throat> I'm okay. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Or be destroyed. There is no other choice. We can choose Ning, Hina. Oh, she she's also good. If you want to see a cool stream, uh, see Mia. We'll see if 60 is good enough. Time for fun. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. Switch out. Although, if you're interested in seeing what Lulch is about, you're free to try him. He doesn't do mega damage, however. Okay. I'll yeah, I'll try him now and then. Maybe I'll do three with uh, Lulch and three with Clara. Time for a fun. <laughs> to betray my customers, I charge extra. Speed. I've seen Silver Wolf. She was in the pre the prologue of the very beginning. Broken. I've seen the numbers in the whole packing thing. Welcome, Jessica Jose One. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Great. How about you? I just got equilibrium one, so I'm awesome. <laughs> this is double speed. I'm celebrating by annihilating higher higher difficulties and getting good rewards. <laughs> That's good. Good, I'm glad you're here. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Time for a fun. <laughs> to betray my customers. I charge extra. You stream daily? I mean, what you're streaming, Pedro. Yeah. Um, I usually stream fun. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'm on vacation right now, so... This is double speed. I stream whenever I want. Or whenever I can. Just started playing. Have you? What's your 
favorite character. Um, I like because it's a little bit slower and you can play little little bits and pieces a little bit easier than, say, uh, Genshin Impact, if you've ever heard of that one. the daily rewards. Well, we can start one of the main quests that required here. It's a companion mission, but it's still somewhat of a main quest. Hard work needs hard rest. I think this one's a little bit more laid back. There's a little bit more humor. It's kind of a joking and tongue-in-cheek kind of goofing around. Um, definitely the graphics are a little bit faster. It's a little bit more exciting. And I like RPGs because I've kind of always liked them ever since Final Fantasy VIII, I think I went a long time ago. <clears throat> Mangler 3M, have you? can you receive this message? March 7th gave me this little thing and taught me how to use it. Well, it seems you can teach an old dog new tricks after all. It just ki takes time. I kind of know how it works by now. Nice to have something that lets me talk to people without meeting them face to face. You learn. I'm flattered. Now let's cut to the chase. I heard Natasha is seeing a lot of patients and hasn't slept for days. She's the backbone of the underworld and we can't afford to have her burned out. Mangler 3M, I know you did a great favor for her recently, but can I ask you to check on her again just to make sure she's alright? No problem, I'll go right away. I just saw her a second ago. Haha, <laughs> I knew I could count on you. The first time we met. I was not wrong after all. Thank you very much. It's another companion quest. I have two now. I think companion gets uh companion quests do like gives you like uh promotions and bonuses. Well apparently my work network blocks Star Rail. So maybe we'll get to uh, Luoka next time. Sorry about that. Yeah, no rush. You can just either you can either text um, in Twitch the number whenever you get it, or you can look on my about page. I put I just put my number on there so you can see uh, what the number is, and then you can punch in and invite me, and then we'll be able to see each other. What's your uh, account name in Star Rail so I know it's you? I mean, I usually say yes if anyone asks, but just in case I fill up. 450 more slots or whatever it is. Perfect. Hmm. I'm out of Snow White popping candy. Hi, Julian. What are you doing? Ephemera. Okay. So, and same ending as the other one. Or Ephemera. We played hide and seek together before. You were the one talking to me. How'd you mistake me for someone else? Did I? Of course, I'm not Julian of a thousand faces. Oops, I revealed myself. Hmm, fine, I'll, I'll stop messing with you. You are right, I'm Julian. What do you want from me? By the way, I do artwork for streamers at a good price. Would you like to see some of my work? Would you like to connect on Discord for a conversation? I'd love to share some of my ideas and recent art work with you. Oh, wow, nice to meet you. Um, I'm currently not looking for an artist. I'm not quite, I'm, I'm sort of like one of those laid back streamers who's like lazy and does their own artwork. But if I get to that point, and I might in the future, 
I now, uh, you're now a follower, right? So I can easily find you. That probably is the easiest way. Um, I'll see your name and I'll be able to look you up and all that. But thank you so much for offering. I appreciate that. Don't you have urgent matters for me? You! Hey, you! Stop! <clears throat> you are now a conscript of the moles. Now we talk. Hook's little sidekick. The young little master of disguise. <laughs> I, Julian of a thousand faces! Wait, it's not the time for this. We got trouble. The boss went to the great mine along with her Diggertron. If you re she really want to watch and, and connect her. on Discord, I, I do have like my. If you dangerous. look on Twitch, there's a. I think you a link have to for go Discord. check on her for us. That. And you can, like, send a picture or something and I could look at it. Maybe I could save you and remember you better that way, too, because that also saves it. Why should she go to the mines? Bursman is in the mines. It seems like the boss heard some bad news about him and then just ran in there. Oh, she even took her Diggertron. Is she preparing for a fight with the vagrants? Oh, there's lots of bad guys in the mines. Miss Natasha said kids ain't allowed to go in. Go check on her for us now. He's Hook's daddy. And he's like a daddy to everyone in the moles. He's like a great person. Thank you. Uh, please hurry. I said all right. I didn't mean to clear that. Okay, we're starting a new quest. Old Foreman's Treasure. Go to the gold mine, great mine, and look for Hook. I can't get to there yet, but maybe when I get there it'll open up for me. We shall see. Missing we're one just of my... Oh, we're all here. <laughs> Sometimes when I get done with that Calyx thing, one of my characters is missing. I'm okay. Now time. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Place used to be blocked off. Huh. Ooh, I see a point like it. How many times do I have to tell you? What is it you don't get? Uh, this is just too hard. <laughs> Gotta take out one of these guys. Bonuses for them. More business, eh? What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! <laughs> Let's begin. No. This is our chance. these things all the time and they just fly away. 
Leave it to me. <laughs> Let's go. You know nothing of the weight behind. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. This is our chance. Time for a shot now. Yeah, we got it. Bonus rewards. Tindalo's piggy. Sit down and talk it out. Save it. We treated you as our leader, but look how you treated us. Such a rat! You sold the intel about the vein to Antonia, but we discovered it first. Now we've lost the mine, and we have to work for those guys. Traitor! <laughs> well, I'm gonna get a sip nothing of water. to say for yourself, huh? It. So you admit that you sold the intel to the mining team? Go away, you brutes! Don't bully my daddy! Oh, little hook? Oh, no, no, you have it wrong. It's your daddy who bullied us first. Ask him if you don't believe me. Daddy? Yes, I told Antonia about the vein. But I was the first one to discover it. I have the right to do anything with it. It's only because you have that detector. Let's see who's boss when we take it from you. Back off. Enough, like... I was thinking about the bigger picture when I did that. Unlike you all who just look for trouble every day. Well, I think someone needs to teach you a lesson. Guys, get him. You'll never lay a finger on daddy without passing through Hook. The moles are here. Surrender now. I am here. Everybody stop. Take it easy, everyone. Oh, it's you! Come and help Hook! <sighs> Another punching bag? Fine by me. I'll kick all your butts! I forgot to level people up when I got the equilibrium. We're just having fun. You do that right What are you place. waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra! We need ice, fire, and you, so I should say, well. <laughs> this is our chance. <laughs> okay, now we can. Just in time. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. I owe you one. Yeah. <laughs> this is our chance. Yeah. Knock him out of the park. Naughty child. And Homer. Rules are made to be broken. Boom. Home run. Daddy, are you hurt? Uh, just a few scratches. How about you, Hook? Don't worry about me. I have Diggertron. No one can hurt me. Good. <laughs> That's good. And you, young man. Are you hurt? Thank you for your help. Barely felt a thing. Uh, I remember. You are the outsiders Natasha mentioned before, right? I heard that you helped resolve some conflicts around the mines when you arrived. And again today, when you saved my life. No big deal. Saving lives is my passion. What a noble young spirit you have. Thank you very much. Daddy, let's go to the old witch's clinic. You're seriously hurt. But the vein detector that Rapscallion was after, somebody already stole it from me. I need to keep searching, otherwise I might never see it again. 
Head to the clinic. Don't make up worry. What's more important, the detector or your life? Stop talking nonsense. Go to the clinic now. It's just a tool. Uh, I guess I should let it go. Uh, let's head to the clinic. Let it go. Let it go. If there's medicine, it'll right. come in handy. Leveling up. <clears throat> we'll start with Sampo. He's been the most useful. He can attack multiple people at once. And let's move on to Mango 3M. Oh, we got plenty. I probably do everybody. Are you planning on pulling on any of the upcoming character banners? Now that is a good question. I was actually going to ask you. I'm looking at the current ones. <clears throat> We've got Laic Pursuit. Now I only have one. I think this is the light cones. And these are stellar warps. So actually, I can pull right here. This is not one of the upcoming ones, but this is definitely a possibility of getting a five star. Maybe I can get Branya or uh, Himeko, my favorite, or Japard. He's like super strong defense. I'm going to go for it. Now that you mention it, you reminded me, and I have 10, so. color is color of the day. Last time I got a five star the whole thing was gold. I don't see gold this time. That's purple. So that means four star I think. Who's upcoming after him? I have no idea how many uh special cards I'll have at that time. Oh, it's Don Hung. So he gets an Eidolon. And I get extra Starlight, whatever that does. See, I've got 1,992 of these things. Should I use them and try to get him? Or should I just... Wait? Oh, this is the one you got, Luo Luocha. Since you seem to like Sampo, there's an upcoming character that would be great for your team. Kafka. I think she's running after Blade, so I don't know much about. He can... what can he do? Restore. Oh, he's a healer? Removes buffs of all enemies. Imaginary damage. Restores health. Okay, he's a healer. As a five-star healer, which is not too shabby. I think five-star heal healers are very lucky to get. And then here you got your Chin Chui. I'm gonna go for him. I'll probably get more of these eventually, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get more. I'm gonna go for nine, because usually I think you get be better odds if you have all ten. Now, how do I buy these? I haven't done this before, so... Hmm. Is that why it's special? Or did I get the wrong kind? No, that's right. And you eat more. Oh! Oh yeah, I'll just pull out five bucks. <laughs> Which is quite good, I'm very happy with. I'm gonna try for him. I think a five-star healer, even though I like Natasha, Oh, look at that. We get a special deal if we get... This is also a special deal. I'm tempted to get those too. <clears throat> we can get five more at not quite a special deal. I got ten, all for cheap. Did I get the wrong kind? I think I just bought the wrong kind. 
The upgrade for Natasha Luacha is noticeable. Having two healers is great for certain content. Okay. I used to do healer plus shield, which is also useful with the cold. Uh, the one with the arrow. Forgot her name already. March. <laughs> How can I forget her name? Same month as my birthday. Okay, so we need three more of these and let's see, can we exchange three more gold? Do do do. Tracks of Destiny. Here we go. Bit the bullet. I'm going for it. We're going for Luocha. A powerful healer. Odds are really low, but we'll go for it anyway. The train's not lit up gold like it was in the first time I got this. And it's purple again. I probably got another Chinchue. Oh, I got Don Hung has to be constellation up. Kayla! She's idolined up too. But now she's strong, so. I don't think I've ever used her. Enemies' current HP is greater than 50%. Your crit goes up 12%. Oh. Yeah. I mean, that's most of the time, but. And your bonus is when enemies defeated, you get at five extra energy. Okay, Gala is very good. She's also Nihility, which is going to be useful. Hmm. All right, I said we're going to start leveling people up because I'm in the new. Ascension, so we could do him. Oh, he's already at 40. How, how much do I get to 50? Oh, I think it's probably going to be that over the while. Sampo's up there. How about Welt? Welt needs to go up there. He can go up to 39, not quite 40. So, that's okay. He'll get to 40 soon. Should I ascend anyone else yet? I don't have enough health to get them up, but ascending helps. Just don't they don't I get a bonus if I ascend? Fifty to forty to get this bonus. Oh no, you have to ascend nice. at forty. I see. Can I ascend her or not? Don Hung, he's like, what about me? She's cool, you said, okay. Pela. Oh wait. I don't have any items. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do these daily stuff off offline or something. <laughs> more incentive to play more. I'm gonna play a lot over vacation, so. I will probably be everybody buffed up at level 40. Next time I'm on stream. Maybe. Get all these quests I am on. <clears throat> Tons of them. Tons of awesomeness. Thank goodness they have warp. It's hard to know where I'm at. Everyone hard wants work to needs hard rest. Hey, hey, look! I'm a mirror. I've taken care of your wounds. I'm running short on medical supplies these days, though, so behave yourselves and stay away from trouble. You hear me? Pale the debuffer. Don't pretend you didn't hear that stuff. I'm talking to Makes you. her basically universally usable. Who was the one that She's caused trouble? My team it was those oh. bad guys. We were just All these good characters I didn't know. I have them, but I never, never tried them. I drew them and I was like, oh, they're four star. Who knows? I'll ever use them. Boss is always right. We shouldn't indulge kids. I don't know. It was nothing. 
There's nothing to do with me. We shouldn't indulge it. Hey, whose side are you on? I'm glad we're on the same page. We can't just let this kid do whatever she wants. <sighs> That's enough for now. I'll say this one last time, Hook. If you cause any trouble again, I'll take Diggertron away. Do you understand? Mm, Hook understands. The boss of the moles should stick to her word. Death Amara Ephemera. I have rights to take care of. Sort of. See you later. Thank you Just again. <laughs> if it weren't for you and Dr. Natasha, Hook and I probably would have been in big trouble. <clears throat> what happened exactly? Well, a few days ago, I found a Geo Marrow vein using a vein detector, and I sold this info to Antonia, a, a supervisor of the mining team. Then, those vagrants heard about it and accused me of being a traitor. They believe that since I'm also a vagrant who came from another mine and ended up in here for a living, I should naturally be on their side. The mining team could not agree with that, of course. <sighs> I'm just too old for this. Daddy? Are we short on money? Why did you do that? My poor child. Daddy is old now. <clears throat> Who knows how long I can stay by your side. I have to start preparing for your future. People say I'm selfish, think I'm a traitor, but it doesn't matter to me. All you need to know is when I'm gone, you will have the money to take care of yourself and survive on your own. Daddy! Forget about it. Since I've got the money I think in New York, they have a whole neighborhood for Japanese people. It's just a shame that I Probably lost my vein detector. Too. It was indeed a treasure. Someone stole it? What's a vein detector? It's an ancient relic that I found in a mine. People say it's a device that mining teams used for detecting geomaro veins long ago. Love the detector. I often carried it around looking for a fresh claim. Perhaps some villains up to no good took notice. It's a rare device, you know. I no bring my cat to the stream, but they're completely asleep, as you can see uh, in the camera. Uh, Passed out. Anyway, I see a box I so you can get in it easily. Anymore. The less trouble, the better. I shouldn't come by and pick them up for you on the camera. <laughs> Unless you don't uh, like cats, in which case forget about it. Was, I hope they get good coming. use out of it. Hook seems to be giving me a look like... I want to talk to you outside the clinic now. So that's why people call eyes the windows to the soul. She does have the biggest eyes on in existence. Probably oh, looking the other way. Hi Natasha. Hi Natasha. Talking to myself. I adore cats, no worries. I have two of my own. What are your cats need? Um, pumpkin and firecracker. The one on the camera there is firecracker. Pumpkin's over there on the couch sleeping. He's actually more active and more common, so he'll probably be up here a little bit later and I'll hold him up and you can, I can introduce you to Pumpkin. Um, Pumpkin's extremely friendly and he does a lot of tricks, so I decided to make a YouTube channel of him doing tricks. And I have two YouTube channels of just cat tricks. And they somehow became extremely viral, and that's how actually most of my followers know me from my cat videos. Not from gaming, even though I have tried to put a lot more time into the gaming. So it's like cats and gaming, that's what you get with me. <laughs> Wait! Glad you I like cats. You to help with something. Mine are both orange. Uh, uh, pumpkin is a little white. White. You know, sometimes we call him Casper. He has a lot of nicknames. <clears throat> Is this about first minute? Leave it to me. Ha, couldn't even give me give it a minute, could you? Members of the moles gotta help each other out! Please? That detector is daddy's treasure, so I gotta get it back! You'll help me, won't you? Helping others is my passion. Alright then, I'll be waiting for you at the shelter in the mine, big brother. I mean, 
What did you just call me? See ya. Big brother. I heard that. Alright. Newly leveled up. How are we gonna do? We're gonna crush this. Man. There's one of the videos, it's just the link just happened to pop up. One one of the uh, YouTube channels with just cat videos. And there's a different one too. I made two because I didn't know if one was gonna. The one is for gaming and cats, and one's for just game cats. So different crowds, they go to different people. YouTube has their algorithms. Not at all. Mr. Fursman trusts every vagrant, and every one of us trusts Mr. Fursman. I think that's why they're viral. But after what happened over at that Geomero vein. The atmosphere at the shelter became a bit tense. I'm here to find Daddy's treasure, his vein detector. I heard that someone stole it. Is that true? Well, I would guess that's probably true. After the conflict in the mine, Wildfire gathered everyone out of the shelter and took a head count to check on the wounded. Four people were not there. When we returned to the shelter, Mr. Fursman's detector was gone. We searched all around the shelter, but found nothing. I guess one of those four people was the thief. No one else was at the shelter during that time. They picked the wrong time to commit the crime. Indeed. Now we can narrow down the scope of our search considerably. We vagrants have our dignity too. I'm sure we will catch the thief, but... But... What? Actually, we've already asked those four suspects about it. They all claim to not have stolen anything. Of course, we could never expect sweater. thieves to confess and turn themselves in, right? What is wearing a sweater? In my opinion, one of those four was lying. Liar must be the thief. There can't be more than one. Arrest everyone and interrogate them one by one. We're all vagrants. None of us have the authority to arrest anyone just because we feel like it. Let's see whose words contradict with the facts, and that person would be the thief. All four suspects are at the shelter. If you're feeling confident, why not give it a try? Maybe you can determine who the thief is. Oh yeah, not, not like it. <sighs> Adults are so dishonest. Hook's gonna question them one by one. A recipe. Alright, are these all suspects? He told me four people, so one, two, three, four. Start with you. Ooh, here. Start with this chest. Treasure. If there's medicine, it'll come in handy. Like a magnet for nutrition. Alright, merchant. Daddy's detector. What? How could you say that? You're gonna make me angry. You can say no. I think you're suspicious. Don't get upset. It's a perfectly reasonable question. You know what a businessman values the most? Reputation. If your slander ruins my reputation and harms my business, you'll pay for that. He did it. Uh, it was him. Well, then answer our questions. We'll decide if we believe you or not. What were you doing when the crime occurred? I have the right to remain silent. What do you think of Mr. First? I withhold my opinion toward this question. Did you see the detector? No, comment. Oh, you would. I'll give you one more chance. Think carefully, and give your answer to Diggertron this time! Calm down, Hook. Don't scare him. Think carefully, and give your answer to my fist. You little brat! Grow a couple of feet taller before you think about threatening me! <sighs> Here, how about we make a deal? I'll tell you what I know, in exchange for a small intel service fee. Fair and honest! That's not gonna happen. Yeah, looks like I can only continue exercising my right to remain silent. 
It's up to you. All right, I'll pay for your intel. Smart decision. I love doing business with smart people. What were you doing when the crime occurred? I went into town to restock. Nothing out of the ordinary, right? I restock on a regular basis, everyone knows that. I was wondering why there was nobody at the shelter. What do you think of Mr. Fersman? He's an old customer of mine. He's pretty nice to me, though we are not so close. As to what he did about that Geomero vein, it was kind of unethical. We're all neighbors. We've known each other for a long time. But he sold out to the other side and left his own people out to dry. I really can't agree with that. Look, the, the cook is definitely the thief. I'm sure about that. I value my reputation more than anything, so you can trust me. Why are you so sure about that? In my line of work, I've learned to read people. And something's definitely fishy with that cook. I can tell from the start. If you don't believe me, just ask anyone. I think you're guilty, Merchant. Help her. Hmm? Hook? What's the matter? Did you steal Daddy's detector? What? Oh, if I'd known I would become a suspect, I wouldn't have gone out at that time. How foolish of me. Relax, we're just checking on the box. We just need you to answer a few questions. Okay. Ask away. It would be good to clear myself of suspicion. Where were you when the crime occurred? Nothing special. I just went out to get some fresh air. Oh dear, oh dear. I know that's a lame alibi, but I swear it's the truth. What do you think of Mr. Firstman? Mr. Firstman? He's a good person. Though... No. Oh, it... Uh, never mind. No, no, no. I must sound very suspicious. But I really didn't do anything. You have to believe me. Did you see the detector? detector? No, I haven't seen anything. And I don't know anything. Is that all the questions you have? Have I proven my innocence? Just stay calm, wait for the news. I figured it out. Be careful. Oh dear. All this waiting around is enough to make me even more anxious. Bum, bum, bum. Did you steal Daddy's detector? Nope. I'm no thief. Really? Then you better answer our questions honestly. Ask away. Let's not waste time. What were you doing when the crime occurred? Mm, spacing out. Didn't notice anything. What do you think of Mr. Furzman? Good man. But a bit of a cheapskate. Did you see the detector? Nope. What detector? Hey, would you mind talking more nicely? What? I always talk like this. I don't feel like she's the thief. Shouldn't jump to conclusions yet. I know! Time to wake up. Meet again. Seems we have a connection. Rumble. Time to get some breakfast. I've been sleeping all day. Breakfast? Mm hmm. I usually eat one meal per day. Isn't the first meal of the day called breakfast? <clears throat> it's not like I might die. Look, I'm alive and doing just fine. Heh <laughs> oh, don't look at me with all that pity. It's nothing. By the way, why did you wake me up again? I'm curious. How can you live with such a small amount of money? Why are you so lazy? Are you worried what people will say? What will you do when you're old? I don't have any questions. He's not. I thought maybe he was going to give me a hint or something. Well, well, well. What's this? Playing detective, are we? Spill it! Did you steal my daddy's detector? You little brat. How dare you label me a thief? Someone needs to give you a good lesson on manners. I'm an honest and decent man. I'd never do such a shady thing. <laughs> Anyone can say that. If you really didn't steal anything, then just answer our questions. Oh, you have a temper, huh? 
All right, I'll spare a couple minutes for your little detective game. What were you doing when the crime occurred? I'm a cook. What else would I be doing? Don't you notice the smoky cooking smell all over me? It's just that I happen to be out shopping for ingredients at that time. Otherwise, who'd want anything to do with this kind of thing? What do you think of Mr. Fursman? That old Fursman was kind to me. When we were at Rivet Town, he put me in charge of the whole mining team's food supply. And it's because I trusted him that I came to this mine with him. I mean, I didn't expect he would take that money for himself. Anyway, he found that Geomero vein by himself, so I won't blame him for not sharing. But you know, what he did was not like the old Fursman I knew. Did you see the detective? No, oh, I don't want to be a snitch, but out of my respect for Fursman, I'll tell you a secret. The helper over there, I saw him sneak into Fursman's tent and come out holding a box. See? Isn't he the most suspicious one? Who is the most suspicious one is not up to you. <laughs> I don't care if you believe me or not. I told you all I know. Now leave me alone if you don't have any more questions. I'm busy. Ugh, look, the head is spinning. And do you remember everything they said? Yep. Don't worry, I've written it all down for you. Remember, among these four people, only the real thief would lie. The cook said the helper did it. The tailor said it wasn't her. The merchant said it was the cook. And the helper said it wasn't him. So, do you know who the culprit is? If the merchant said it was the cook, and the cook said it was the helper, the helper said it wasn't him, and the tailor said it wasn't her, then it can't be the tailor, because if the tailor was lying, then it was her, and that means the other people are lying, so it can't be the tailor. Cross that one off. Um, helper said it wasn't him, but the cook said the helper was him. So the helper, either the cook's telling the truth, in which case the merchant's lying, and the helper's lying, which is not true, so it can't be the helper. Cross that one off. The merchant said it was the cook. Nobody said it was the merchant, so by process of elimination, the cook had to have been lying by saying the helper, so therefore it must be the cook. Hmm. Well, I don't know why, but it's the only person that was wrong your judgment. when Come the other on. ones had to all be true. Accuse the culprit. If their other three are true and that one's false, it's the only possibility. Beats me. I saw him running out in quite a panic. Ah, uh, that guy has to be guilty. Where is he running off to? Probably trying to sell off the spoils, so he's fleeing from oh, justice. Yeah, huh? I saw Mr. Sampo on the way to the mine when I came here. Could he be involved in this? Definitely has something to do with him. He's just trouble on legs. Surely Sampo's innocent. Hey, that would be the naive thing to believe. Follow Hook! Mr. Sampo should be that away! Mr. Sampo's always at the clinic hanging around Miss Natasha. Hook thought he was really sick or something. Hmm? If he's working with the thief, then he's also a bad guy! My friend, are you serious? This device is quite rare. Are you really willing to sell it to me at such a low price? No, no, why are you making this so complicated? Do you want it or not? Just tell me. You two stop right there! Pitchdark Hook the Great has arrived! Sampo, what are you doing here? That guy's a thief. He's trying to sell something he stole. Quiet, I'm giving 
going to give you a good butt kicking. Guy's a thief. Oh boy, I knew it was too good to be true. I, I gotta make this clear. I have nothing to do with this fella. You have to trust me, Miss Hook. Please, don't point that thing at me. It's scary. Hey, how can you sell me out like that? We had a deal. You, you stole Daddy's treasure. Digger John will not spare you. <laughs> this, this is all that old Bursman's fault. Just because he has this device I'm holding, he can make a fortune. It's not fair. Um, well, it seems you guys have some issues to sort out, so maybe I should leave. That's no reason for you to steal it. What kind of a reason are you looking for? With the underworld in such a sad state, how are we supposed to survive if we don't resort to robbing and stealing? Anyway, I got the device now. Come take it, if you have the guts. Guess you want to do this the hard way. Okay, we'll take it then. You got some guts taunting us yourself. Digger Tron, get ready. Saw that one coming. Alright, who we got? We got this guy, he's a winder. Uh, I can do a bounce with him. Sure. Leave it to me. Oh, he's also this. This is our chance. He's a one target dad. Nothing of the weight behind Perfect. survive or be destroyed. There is well, no choice. Just giving them a well. That'll take more than medicine. Yeah, that's long. <laughs> more business, eh? Did it easier than I expected. <laughs> Let's begin. What are you waiting for? To betray my customers? I charge extra. <laughs> Top top for someone who can't fight. Come on, hand the detector over to Hook. Hmm. Huh? Oh, Daddy's treasure! It's broken. Life's full of disappointments. Sorry, kid. Can it be repaired? Hey! Now this is Sampo's time to shine. You're still here. Of course. I wouldn't want to miss out on seeing you and Miss Hook's acts of heroism, would I? Listen here, there's a fellow in Boulder Town they call Balway the Miner's Lamp. He's an appraiser. Although he claims that he doesn't do appraisals anymore for ancient relics, he actually still does a bit behind the scenes for ones that are of especially high value. I think this device of yours is probably worth a lot. It might be a good idea to try your luck with Balloway. Here's a trick. First, pretend that you want to sell it for a low price, then wait for him to excitedly fix the device for you. After it's fixed, tell him you changed your mind and you want to keep it for yourself. This business tactic is what I call a bait and switch. Pretty clever, huh? Halloween the Miner Slam. Got it. Thanks, Mr. Sampo. Let's go into town to find him. Have a safe trip! Antonia, yeah, so there's two quests here. Hard work needs hard rest. Hi, Antonia. Bye, Antonia. Bye, Antonia. Miner's lamp has stopped all appraisal services. The announcement has all the details. Please leave. Appraisal of what? Are you here because you're here to cause trouble? What? Hold on. Are you from the outside? Everyone's talking about your story. Haha, <laughs> no wonder you don't know me. That was embarrassing. Please excuse me. 
My name is Balloway. I'm an expert in relic appraisal. People call me Miner's Lamp. Nice to meet you. Oh, have you been getting level rewards from Pom Pom? I realized I didn't see you get any after you reached 20 and reached EQ1. No, and I forgot about that. Maybe I'll get in five, 10 more stars. I'll go try that right after this. Anyway, effective from today, I, Miner's Lamp, Balloway, will stop all appraisal services. It's a long story. You can have a look at this notice. Or do you have other business? I was wondering if you could have a look at this detector. I'm already retired from appraising ancient relics, so unless this detector is some kind of precious treasure... Oh, look at this! The detector's probe broke off. Can you fix it? Hmm. Oh, ho ho, this certainly is a rare relic. Let me take a closer look. Oh, yes, look extra close. You have to help Hook fix it. This device... I've been in the business for a long time, but never have I seen an ancient relic like this one before. I think this is probably beyond repair. But still, it is a rare treasure. Even broken, I'd be willing to pay a high price for it. What do you say? Will we trust your appraisal? Can you tell me more about it? I intend to sell it. The detector's probe is gone. It's like searching for something without eyes or ears. Who's going to want a pile of junk? I don't believe any other stores will buy it off you. Come on, I'll give you a nice deal. Boss, I think we should go. Maybe we should let Fershman decide what to do with it. We aren't going to sell it to you, you crooked profiteer. Hmm. Alright then, let's go find Daddy. Alright. Going to, you said, what's his name? Pom Pom. Navigate. Let's talk to Pom Pom. It's new uh, ephemera, I mean death ephemera. Tickets, please. Oh, Mangler3M, you're not the same person Pom Pom, Pom Pom first met. What's happened to you? I had a really fast growth spurt. Conductor's eyes never lie, Mangler3M. You're not the same person that you were. Same thing happened on March 7th when she went out tranquilism. Now, can Pom Pom put this? It feels like you're more mature, more stable. More reliable, Pom Pom is sure of it. Pom Pom has got some small rewards for your growth. Skip the formalities, take it all. Pom Pom will keep an eye on your progress and keep preparing some small rewards for you. As for what those will be, you'll find out soon enough. Mangler 3M, someone's learning fast. Uh, naturally. It'll be hard not to improve when you've encountered so much. There will be more wondrous adventures experiences waiting for you in future adventures, Mangler 3M. It's easy to feel lost when you're belly traveling alone. When you're belly traveling alone on a journey of growth, sometimes it's wise to reach out and ask outstanding seniors for advice. Their lights are like lighthouses on the night ocean and are very hard to replace. Ah, typo, typo. It's you've been, not your belly. Yeah, there we go. Hurry and come back to the express when you can. It's easier with face-to-face -face communication. I'm here. Where are you? Oh, there you go. Playing chess, I see. Why'd you call me back for? Pom Pom's so clumsy at messaging people and keeps pressing the wrong thing. Come back regularly and see Pom Pom face to face, Mangler Graham. Pom Pom called you back this time for a very simple reason, Mangler. Ahem. 
Have you ever been a bit confused or troubled by your journey or growth? A little. Why, that's normal. Pom Pom remembers feeling similarly bewildered back in the day. I'd stay up all night gazing up at the stars exploring. Oh, whoops. How did that sentence go again? Drats. Pom Pom completely blanked out on what comes next. Anyway, it's great to see your continued growth, Mangler. There's a reward for you. Quick, take it. And about what just happened to Pom Pom, don't tell anyone, it's just a minor slip up. That was awkward, but okay. About Pom Pom, Pom Pom story, how's my trailblaze level? Alright, we get a. Got one. Got another one, another rail pass. Now we can start leveling up people some more. This one's a lot of relics over here. Can they get boots and stuff? Shadow of Destruction! Alright, I can raise my Eidolon level. Quid pro quo. This for that. Are we level 3 now? We're crushing it. We're like three times stronger than we started today. At least. Who else need to level up? You did, right? Alright, Natasha. You said Pela is really good. Tin Yun. Serval, Herda, Sushan. Look at her glasses. Huge, even bigger than mine. I used to have glasses like that. only get her to 21. I need to get to 21 too. Dang, you have some very good characters. Tin Yun is one of the best four stars available right now. Thank you. See how we're doing. We've got uh oh trials, I forgot to do those. When I get to twenty one I get Chin Chui. Or I get I guess I get a booster. Simulated universe, yeah, I'll probably do these ones offline because these are just like Little by little progressing, not as too much content. Um, what else were I doing? I forgot. Um, I got a new light cone, something about quid pro quo. What kind is quid pro quo? It's a uh, abundance. All right, who's an abundance character? You are. You already have a four star. Any more? Let 
we don't know who's what. Nope, another one. Herda is not is the only not good character in the meta. But in my opinion, every character is at least usable, especially if you enjoy them. Nice. That's cool. I like the fact that there's more characters instead of just focusing on four. Use the same four forever. I can get them. He only has a three star. Is there any better Nihility ones? Nope. Alright, what was I going to do? I was going to look over here. I do have enough to go grab another. If I just bought one more of these, I could get one of these five stars. Let's see. Ah, I can afford... I'm going to use this one. I think the gold ones are slightly more unique. This one's only 60. Oh, I can't. Can't use it. It's only a 26 day deal. Well, I'll be at 40 by 26 days, I hope. Okay. No, I'm not gonna buy. I'm gonna wait for now. I'm not gonna spend it all right away. Alright, we were going to continue... The mining hard work needs hard rest. Updating Nat, Natasha, Natalia, whatever her name is. Hey look, I'm talking to myself. What's different? One of these things is not like the other. You got something... No, you are pretty much the same. More music about Bellabog. Have you read all the different papers? Is there anything worth reading? I was just about to go looking for you. Come on, let's go home. I'll cook some salt-baked rock crabs for you. I'll probably read it offline this week. What's wrong with this kid? Now she's... She's been like this ever since just now. <laughs> we found the vein detector. Vein detector? The one I lost? Big Brother and the Hook helped Daddy catch the thief that stole it! But... Daddy's detector... is broken! It's all my fault! If only I could have found it sooner. So it was stolen. You're not hurt, are you, Hook? I'm fine. Um, Daddy, can you see if your detector still works? Mm. You know, I'm a librarian. I really ought to read all the books and papers, but I haven't. Shame on you. Just because you're a librarian doesn't mean you can read I'm everything. Sorry, There's so Daddy. many books out there. I read a lot, too, and I'm never going to finish all the books I have on my to-read list. <laughs> Thank you so much for looking out for me, Hook. But... Don't cry, Hawk. Daddy's true treasure has been here all along. It was never lost or broken. I played a... What was it? It was a... A classics... Uh, mystery hunt, or like where you you have like an hour to beat this, you know, like it was electronic though. And one of the questions was 742.357 or something like that. And they were like, what does this code mean? And they had all these choices and I was like, that's the Dewey Decimal System. I remember the sports number. It was just like that. <laughs> and I got it right. I thought, oh, that's old. They did away with that a long time ago. Huh? You probably don't even know what that is. <laughs> it's an adorable treasure indeed. This treasure can even cry, you know? Uh, even you know what it is? 
The detector helped me find lots of geomarrow veins, and it saved the mining team a lot of money. And that Our system still uses Dewey. Wow. Very good thing. That's not very many books. But at the end of the day, the catalog in it the all the time. Wow. Just a tool. So you know what it is. A true treasure. I thought everyone forgot about it. Importance to someone. Because huh? I mean, really he goes to the library in elementary school. <laughs> it's okay. I'm saying some things that might seem strange, but you will understand someday. So, the treasure daddy's talking about... Is still happily running and jumping around. 756.357. 796.357. sports. You... You're not allowed to see her cry. Go away. Completed. Success. Big rewards. Look at that. 60. Alright, who else gives a lot of rewards? We still have to get all the way up to 24. It's gonna be a while. Let's do the simulated universe just because this one, like, progresses to a lot more. <clears throat> Book's talking. One, two, three. Are you the honorary member of the moles? I am Pitch Black, Hook the Great. I borrowed Julian's stuff to message you. I'm not good at typing. It's so difficult. Right? I need your help. Come find me and don't you ever tell that old witch. Otherwise, you are done for. The official version of Simulated Universe. Forget that. Forget about the previous beta version. There are lots of changes. Do you want me to give you the patch notes? Just say them out loud to me. I'll figure them out myself. Nah, I'm not interested. Got it. Alright, you'll find out soon enough. World 1. Voila! The official simulated universe. The real game begins now. The official game contains multiple explorable worlds with progressive difficulty. All the fun features will be gradually updated. Look here. You'll earn points each time you clear a stage. Viewpoint rewards. Tusk. The rewards of the last two clears are all here. Rewards and points here will be refreshed weekly. Now go and explore World 1. I'm sure you'll find some new stuff you've never seen before. After clearing any world for the first time, you may receive extra rewards. Explore the domain to earn points that will can be exchanged for rewards. Download initial characters. Now you can choose from people you know to join your team. Their abilities are con consistent with your perception of them in reality. But if you're fully prepared, then push this button. I haven't downloaded anybody yet. This is going to be a piece of cake. He asked for level 16. If I can use the auto. While exploring the simulated universe, cosmic fra fragments can be obtained. 50 fragments are gifted at the start of each exploration. During exploration, consume fragments to acquire extra help. After completing at least one domain in the universe in the last cycle, you can select one blessing of trailblaze upon re-entry into the simulated universe. Okay, so I get extra fragments or I get a blessing. I'll take a blessing. Uh, crit rate increases. Alright, we want the 
monsters, so he's got the range. I wonder if there's items in here. Oh. Blessings that have not been unlocked have been marked to help you collect them. It's like Pokemon. Appropriate rewards will be provided when the index is unlocked. Okay, freezing. Whatever. Next. Come on. Oh, you can't break stuff. Oh, wow. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. Okay, more bonuses. Preparation. Stay calm. Uh, to betray my customers, I charge extra. Oh, whoa. Super awesome. Ultimates are a followed up attack. Spit. We can get some stuffs if we want them. What do I do with the downloader? Switch characters? Yep. Download a new character. I uh, think we're good. I'm kind of tempted to grab her. She gets some bonuses too. What are you doing? Heard of the weakest one. Curtis Puppet appears in the simulated universe. Having only communicated with you via voice before, it's a little surprising to see her manifesting like this. He looks at you expressionlessly. This is the resting area, giving you a place to get your breath in an otherwise scary simulated universe. We hope you can restore your health, resurrect your team, buy equipment, and enhance your blessing is here. Curtis says irresponsibly. You can enhance blessings with me. And as for the other functions, you can find them in the room itself. And it's blessings. I need those other features too. Hmm. Herda replies flippantly. As the game master, I can make the blessings stronger or even make earth shattering changes to them at the price of paying cosmic fragments. What's the point in collecting these otherwise? Now then, let's begin. Open the enhanced tree. You can enhance. Obtained blessings here. Blessings will become stronger after enhancing them. Naturally, you'll have to pay for it. Cosmic fragments are required to enhance blessings, and each blessing can only be enhanced once. There we go. Look at that. Changes from 15 to 55. I'm going to assume that if I didn't kick butt before, I'm really going to kick butt now. I'm determined to make a powerful Herda. It'll make it Herda a lot of time. I'm going to... I'm going against the meta, but I might just have brain problems. I'm very bad at looking at what the meta is. I don't even know what that means. It's probably something you googled or some Reddit page you looked at. But I—I I mean, my my favorite character is Klee 
on Genshin and everyone hates Klee, so that's probably against the meta. But I have Klee and D Luke as my two two of my top four on my account on my phone. Anyway, alright. Defeated we get uh here. characters have enhancing shield. I have no ice anyway. I heard characters can get to 5 star. Somebody said Dan Hung can turn into a 5 star. I think it's a new character though, I don't think it's the same one that I upgraded. Hit rate goes up. Sure, we'll take it. All these are good. Come on. Don't worry, when I finish this, I'm not gonna be playing with this. Yep, upcoming 5 star Dan. To betray my customers. That's probably gonna make the people want to use them less. They see there's a 5 star coming, so they'll probably make it. Which opens the door for 5 star other characters. Yeah, in in Octopath, a lot of the characters have multiple parallel... Actually... Is it Octopath? I think, yeah. I think, or, or another Eden. I, Another Eden, you can also get like five star of the same character, like a different version from a parallel universe. When a character launches a follow up attack, they're defensive. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I don't think I've gotten hit once by anybody in this. Approach that spot of light. Go on. Try out this new playthrough. Simulated universe. You see a man about 30 years old and has an unremarkable appearance, wearing a white shirt and brown suspenders. His eyes wander while he speaks, as if avoiding something. Uh, I wanted to add some random events to the game to make it more fun. No, you are absolutely wrecking house. Well, it's because it's been so long since I, I've upgraded so much. Uh, I wanted to add some random events to make this game more fun. I think the brainwave reader is on the fritz. So uh, now the events you encounter will be a little more uh, monotonous. Sorry about that. How bland will they be? Like he stutters without looking at you. Like uh, this is random event now. I wrote some templates but the simulation currently doesn't have any way of converting them into content. So you will just see the following. After speaking, the man disappears and a line of words materializes where he was standing. You have encountered a random event. Select. Obtain some cosmic fragments, one random blessing, you don't need it. Let's go with random blessing. Uh, right, right. It's for shielded, but whatever. I'm just gonna be like Pokemon and try to wreck them. Catch them all. Wreck them all. Wrecking house. <laughs> That's how I'm not in this. Genuinely sorry. A borderline acceptable situation. Hopefully very soon the man said earnestly, I really want to have a good time. Really, uh, once again, I'm really sorry about that. Finish. Okay. Well, that was a whole lot of that for that. Oh look, Sampo needed the help. We'll take I'm not even done. Defeat the boss enemy. Bring it. Come. Survive or be destroyed. Do I trust the artist? Yes, I do. Uh -huh. I have this Disney game on my phone. And it's an RPG with Disney characters. And they have an auto thing like this. And I never clicked on it because I didn't trust it. And then one day I took a chance and I realized that the auto player played better than I would anyway. Now I always do the auto. Even against other people usually. Which is weird. So you would think PvP would have been. You would outsmart the computer. The computer really knew when to use shield, when to heal. Yeah. 
survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <laughs> World completed. A delicate operation. There's probably a chest I missed. I wasn't looking. A room of one's own. Look at that, I got a pass. And two bonds, whatever that means. Disney game with PvP. I'm just wrapping my head around that, yeah. It is, seriously, it has PvP and it's your characters fighting against other characters. Apparently it's more difficult with stronger enemies. Screwliff said that according to this model you have a 60% of losing the first time. Not like you'll actually lose anything. You'll clear it sooner or later. Folks really here to research eons? What are you talking about? Our goals haven't changed. Now run off and get ready. Two unlocked. You can exchange bonds for items. Take what you need. Alright, those are just catalogs. We'll take that. Should I go world two or do something else? I think it's called Disney Arena or something like that. Sorcerer's Arena, that's what it's called. Don't start that game. Too addicting. Waste so much time. Okay, this is now they want me to be level 35. I could probably take it, but I'm going to try some other quests in the meantime. Pom Pom's talking. Anyone there? Anyone there? Hello? Nope. Something doesn't feel right on the express. Like there's something I can't see. Come back and see me when you have time. The conductor shouldn't be this timid. Stay calm. I'm coming back. Really, I don't believe you. I was just there. Come back in this instant. If you don't solve this, the express won't be moving an inch. Uh. Before we talk to you, I'm going to grab my rewards. Oh my god. Switch to the conventional memoir page. You'll encounter different kinds of gameplay as you explore. These gameplays will be recorded in the conventional memoir for faster review and access. Oh, you can search by location, I guess. Oh. Um, companion, stranger, mission start, okay. Complete previous stuff before you get to this. Look at this, I'm leveling up. Level 5. Have you ever reached the maximum on any game? No. All right, we got all this. We got three more. And I think we're at ten, so we can go for another one of those wishes. We're at ten. We're at twelve, actually. Let's go for it. Who are we gonna get? Five star, maybe? Maybe, maybe? What's our odds? One in a hundred million? I hit the maximum yesterday. Oh my gosh. That's insane. Look, I got another four star. Oh, great. Probably gonna be a four star core or something. Congratulations, by the way. Impressive. I've never hit that on anything, ever. I hit the daily max. I did that today. I was a four star core. Good night and sleep well. With the circles, sort of. Lame. Nihility, hey, hey, we finally found a Nihility core that's four stars. Didn't expect it to come this way, but we'll take it. All right, who is the one with the Nihility? You. Debuff, target, uh, blah, blah, blah. 
Alright, so you are probably better on Pela because you're a debuffer. But I'm gonna leave you on him for now. Alright, your lights are out. What's up? Ask the conductor about what happened. I'm gonna talk to him first. Oh my gosh. So many talking. Hello, Mangler. Do you have some time? I still haven't thanked you for helping me when we first met. First met? When was that? Good night and sleep well is Sampo's best light coat. Mm -hmm. That's a great pull. You found me wounded in the monitoring room and took me somewhere safe. Thank you. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't have lasted much longer. Do you have time to come to the base zone? I have a gift I want to give you. Can you mail it? I'm doing 15 things at once. I want to give it to you face to face. That's more formal. I'll wait for you. Alright. Because you said good night is a good one. I thought you were leaving. I was like, oh, you're speaking. Okay. Um, it's funny when you're on when you're on stream with somebody from Asia and they're like, good night, and you're like, it's still the morning. Okay, good night, sleep well. You said it's the best one, so I'm gonna enhance it. I'll take your advice. People know this game better than me. If I didn't listen to anyone, I would never get anywhere. Is the strange thing you were talking about? How come doesn't know? But it's in the express. No one knows Akivili's express better than Pom Pom. There is something strange in here. Pom Pom can feel it. Help Pom Pom look for it. We have to find it. A mirror catches your eye. You're confused. The mirror is broken. Why is it in it repaired? The mirror is grateful for your kindness, but the question is, well, when did it appear? You don't remember there being such a mirror on the express. What's even stranger is that everyone else on the train seems to turn a blind eye to the sudden appearance of the mirror. Maybe you should recheck the mirror. You approach a mirror and see a figure slowly emerging in it, but it doesn't look like you at all. In the mirror is a girl in a hood, her face hidden by a strange mask. Your twin sister! Oh. <laughs> Making it impossible to make out her appearance. Before you can react, the girl steps out of the mirror. This is the Astral Express. Okay, that's weird. Take this, you monster. Who are you? Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm a messenger from the Garden of Recollection. I will be staying on the Express from now on. It's very nice to meet you. Er, nice to meet you too. You have the approval of the train's owner. Garden of Recollection. Let me set. explain. Garden of Recollection is an organization that worships the Aeon Fuli. As a messenger for the Remembrance, we surrendered our worldly bodies and traversed the universe in the form of memes to search the stars the on behalf of, of Fuli for the oh most precious memories. This is the cheesiest game ever. Seeing that I'm able to be here, it's all serious you must memes. have already come to understand the concept of Remembrance and the Garden of Recollection. The memories that you possess encourage people to make have memes activated a pathway for the Garden of Recollection to make copies and implant me into your thoughts. We can actually just follow you without being noticed. However, the Garden of Recollection believes that you're special. 
The memories that you possess are extremely rare and precious, and it's very likely there will be even more in the future. That's why I thought it'd be best if I introduced myself to you. I noticed that you've also received the concept of memo snatchers. The Garden of Recollection wouldn't want you to mistake us for thieves or crooks. Everything we do is for a higher purpose. I believe we've become acquainted now. When did I come across those things before? What is your noble cause? So you're just smuggling yourself on board the express. What's your noble We want to prevent the universe from being forgotten because of the destruction. That's me. Even if all matter is annihilated, it can continue to live on in the form of memories. There is actually something that I need, so I'll get right to it. The Garden of Recollection wants to preserve your memories. But don't worry, we won't take it from you. We just want to make a copy of the precious moments. You can see it as a trade between us. This is the Forgotten Hall, created specially to store your memories. We hope that you can visit this place regularly to rekindle your lost memories. The Garden of Recollection will extract the memories they want and give you something in return, in the form of matter and light cones. Come, I swear on the memories of my past self that you won't be at a loss for anything. Leading lights. So this is it. This is what I was looking for. Clear any memory stage on of the Forgotten Hall. Do you want to enter the Forgotten Hall? Sure. I'll give you a caveat that I'm just one girl. My opinions on things like light cones are opinions, but I do really enjoy research and I put a lot of it into this game. That's good enough. That's a thousand times more than me. <laughs> Even if you're one person. With more experience, I mean, I literally have, like, this is day four or five of, of actually playing with this account, so. That was one thing that, when I was, um, you said you've played Genshin. When I first started on Genshin, I played for six months without leaving the island of Mondstadt. My characters were absolute maximum... 40, 40, 40 across the board, every single one of my characters. Because I didn't know you could go anywhere else. Somebody came on my stream and explained it to me. They actually joined my stream just to show me and I was like following them and they were like making a bridge and I was like, there's more to this game than that one city. <laughs> so I'll take any advice. <laughs> Each stage of the Forgotten Hall has a special environmental mechanism, Memory Turbulence. Utilize Memory Turbulence wisely to achieve your, the objective. Increase wind damage by all allies by 50%. Wind with at least 10 cycles left. Okay, so we want wind characters probably. That's only 50%, so we just don't want you. Okay. Um, actually, not you. Yeah. I have no idea how high the levels are, but it says level 32. So this might be a little bit tricky, but I'm glad I have a healer. So you can you can definitely give bad advice. I don't care. Oh, one second. Grab it. I 
I was, but the requirement to level up beyond that is you have to get the upper Eidolons or whatever they are. Um, so I'm, yeah. This is probably the last, whoa, 32. Oh well, I'll take them. Enemy oh, no. ahead. No I harm used the wrong. Stay. So probably the last event and then I probably had to Leave it jump to off, but... I'm trusting the auto. I was the most powerful being and I, I thought the maximum, I didn't realize the maximum level was I think 60 at the time. I didn't realize it was above that. But it was like your eyes are open because of how tiny Monstrat is, you know, like one island. Are made to be broken. I should I should remember I saved I saved it, I think it was like episode twenty or something on uh Twitch. It was memorable. There are a lot of memorable ones, like silly things that you learn. Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Survive or be destroyed. There is no other choice. <coughs> to betray my customers, Wind I charge me. extra. <laughs> Alright. Success. Challenge completed. Rewards of which I don't know what any of those are. I think that's for experience, that's for light cones, that's money. These are upgrading stuff. What is it? Are you not feeling well? I'm not used to be this. Nothing all of you find. <sighs> that's good. I was afraid you'd be angry. From now on, all you have to do is enter the Forgotten Hall periodically. Oh yeah. And we'll give you an abundant amount of rewards. There's so many of these little side um, reward about things. Me being they don't cut the to the chase, they just put you right in. It'd do this every so often. Do this every so often. The two of us. I think I'm a robot. I won't reveal myself to your companions. So make sure you don't tell them about me, okay? No, I have to tell them. Now, what should I tell everyone? Um, you can say that it's just a phase flame, or an inquisition spirit. They often suddenly appear and then vanish. You should be able to get past them with that. Hmm. Alrighty then. Just step close to the mirror if you ever want to find me. Tell the truth to the Astral Express crew. Did you find anything? Tell the truth. Someone from the Garden of Recollection is here? On the Express? Mm, seems like the rumors are true. The emanators of the Remembrance don't have a physical body and only those they allow can see them. The Express is not a place they can just come and go as they wish! We have to kick them out! Yes, I agree. Dealing with the Garden of Recollection is dangerous, and the trait of memories is... a shady business. We'll come up with something. Don't worry, Conductor. Alright! Thanks! Alrighty. Fleeting lights completed. Alright, I'm gonna have to go to go ahead and put a cut in the video. I got a couple of things I got to do but I'll just double check to see if anyone else is uh, Streaming we can raid somebody if I have anybody on Wow a lot of people on today Let's go ahead and rush say Mia. We used her a second ago. Let's go ahead and raid her There we go <clears throat> Have a wonderful week. I will be back in a week and a half, probably, most likely. Nice. Have a good one, everyone. Nice meeting.